Well, God bless you. Uh, this is part two of uh, principles and promises, second generation, uh, second edition, I guess. So, to God be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want people to have this information so that they can make a choice because you can't make a choice if you don't have an option. Can't make a choice if you don't have an option. Okay, so John 4.24, we know what John 4.24 is. He that worshipeth God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Or no, not must. God seeketh those to worship him in spirit and in truth. And so when you, when you knock and you ask, God is right there to give it to you. So... God is all light. He wants us to have everything that we could possibly believe to operate. He wants us to, yeah, you, you can't outgive God. You can't, like, outthink God. You're not going to be able to, do you, so, right here, 424, uh, 424 right here number three we're starting at number three to god be the glory in the name of jesus christ do you believe the word yeah where do you believe the word give me a subjects people places events that you believe the word run the word through your head with great joy right in the name of jesus christ for the glory of god okay so uh john 424 God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Do you think you're gonna do you think you worship in God by your understanding is in spirit? Do you really think it is? Okay. Did Jesus Christ worship God in spirit and in truth? Uh that wasn't available yet. Jesus Christ couldn't even do that. He could only speak in he could only uh give uh, worship in his understanding because that communication of the spirit wasn't even available that right there is in spirit and in truth is a communication of the spirit is it not all right let's go to first timothy 2 5 uh what was that first timothy titus philemon hebrews uh there's timothy titus philemon hebrews oh really Oops, sorry. First Timothy two five backwards the other way. First Timothy two five. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So that mediator has to be a neutral. How can Jesus Christ be a neutral if he's a man? Or how can Jesus Christ be a neutral if he's God? He's a neutral because his blood is pure, and he's still a man. He took part of the same by Mary. Okay? So therefore, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. God is spirit, and Jesus is the inter and mediator between God and us. So, We got 1 Timothy 2.5, the mediator. Now, what does that give us then? What does the mediator give us? The mediator gives us this, that we may do. Do you think he came without power? He came with spirit and power, right? For us to have spirit and power. So... Therefore, being justified by faith, believing, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, the mediator, that we may worship God in spirit and in truth, because that wasn't available before the day of Pentecost. To God be the glory. All right. Now, 
I'm going to have to figure out how to switch this over to the other side of the board. I hope everything stayed where it was supposed to be. And uh, we'll adjust this real quick. Oh, wow. It, uh, oh, you get a nice view of the whole thing. Now that I'm just leaving just like that. To God be the glory. Is it still running? Yeah, I'm at uh, 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. Um. All right. Well, let's go to 1 John 4, 8 over here. This is pro uh, promise principle number four. Okay, you got to remember these are principles and promises, and only God can have those. So, 1 John 4.8. 1 John 4.8. Go to that real quick. 1 John 4.8. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was the manifest... Uh, in this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. <sighs> he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. That's a principle. God is love. So if we don't love, yeah, we definitely don't know God, right? First John 4, 8. Okay, so God is all love. Now let's go to Hebrews 13.8 and see what it says about Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13.8 Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. With grace, not with meats, which have not provided them that have been secured. I don't know. Hebrews 13.8. Ah. Oh, what was I looking at? Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sorry about that. Where to what was I looking at? 13? I don't even... 8. Let uh, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh. Look at this real quick. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be coven, uh, content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. That's God. I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. And we're going to have to go into a building and say, God be with us. Ah, God, please. Oh, begging God and pleading with God. And oh, what ignorance. Anyway, so yeah, John 4.8. I mean, Hebrews 13.8. Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, okay? So that's a promise and a principle that he'll never change. Never. Isn't that like that right there alone, that Jesus Christ will never change? <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go to Colossians 1.27. And so this is our response... This is what we've been given to respond to. Okay. Colossians 127. Ah. Colossians 1. Colossians 127. I hope you can see that. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Romans 10, 9 and 10. You know, your love for God and your love for Jesus Christ, you confess that. Nothing to do with your sins. That has nothing to do with any personal shit that you've done. All that is, is your confession of who Jesus Christ is and what God did to save yourself from Spiritual death. So, now, Colossians 
It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. That hope of glory, hope of glory. Hope is something that may not come to pass in our lifetime. So of glory, God's wanting us to come to his word to get the power manifested. He's wanting us to operate all nine manifestations and believe to plug ourselves in. There's some incredible people uh, that do incredible, just keep going. Energizer bunnies for God. Oh my word. And I'm like, I, I, I can't even hold a candle to them. It's like I, their shoes I'm not even worthy to unlatch. And I'm like, gee whiz. And here I am just wanting somebody to let me talk to some people about this stuff. So, right there, Colossians 1.27. It's for us to operate what Jesus Christ made available. John 17. John chapter 17. Uh, John chapter 14. If we forget what Jesus said, we've I got nothing. Because the boys, you know, we do what Jesus Christ said to do. Okay? All right. Well, that's number two. I mean, that's number four. Oh, my Lord. How many minutes is that? Woo! I'm going to shut her down. Shut her down!